Okay, it's been a while since I've been on Geometry Dash, but here I am. I'm back. Uh, let me find a level to play so I can talk, because I'm incapable of speaking unless I'm doing something. Cool, I'm just going to stay stuck on zero. Okay, whatever. We're going to play this level that I was playing on mobile. And playing on mobile now is very understandably jarring coming from PC, you know, 240 hertz, the mouse response time, the tapping on... Whoa. Are you good, Geometry Dash? I need to restart you? That was horribly delayed. Okay, well, it's going fine now, but yeah, so I was playing on mobile, and it is completely different, which, I mean, even though I kind of expected it, I didn't expect it to be as jarring as it was considering that I had beforehand on mobile I was kind of I guess eh, not as good as like you know any of the world-class mobile players who play like Sonic Wave and stuff but like I was in my opinion kind of scarily good at mobile to where my current uh, what could be considered my hardest windy landscape is like on mobile, I got 75 on it, be like before I beat it, and I was like, I'm not beating this level on mobile. Like, I don't know why. It just feels very wrong to me to beat my hardest on mobile, even though that would be kind of like impressive in its own right. It's like I just did not like the thought of that, <laughs> so I didn't. I God, I remember that coin at the last second, but like, got me thinking about freaking input methods in general, because, you know, I, and I guess this is kind of tangent, but whatever, I need something to talk about, because I've said it a bunch throughout, like, a few different, um, videos I've made, but I am not, like, really that familiar at all with, um, PC, and I'm still getting, uh, you know, I'm just still getting used to it, and I... As I'm still getting used to it, I think about, I don't know, just any, just about, I guess, my future in PC gaming, you know? It's like, what's gonna happen? Like, the thing I can think of, or that comes to mind when I think about that, is I haven't uploaded it, but I have a video on a game called Yakuza 0, which I initially played through all 10 games on the Xbox, Xbox Series X. And, you know, that's like, oh, cool, whatever. But those games were very clearly made with a controller, like, in mind, control-wise, as opposed to mouse and keyboard. And I will fight that I think it's better on the controller. Like, I'm sure, I know that on, like, mouse and keyboard, everything's pretty much always going to, like, objectively be better due to the way there's just more there, you know? Like, if you can get used to it. But, um, so I, you know, I tried Bluetoothing a controller, but it's broken. If I had Yaxa Zero on Steam, all would be well. However, unfortunately, I do not have it on Steam. I only have it as part of Game Pass. And currently, right now, there seems to be a bug with, oh, to survive? But, um... Dude, I can't mash, bro. People are gonna bully me. I, I can't. I can't. I can't. Jeez, um. I actually can't spam, like, at all. That is terrible. But, like, you know, so. On Yaxa Zero, I tried it, and it's bugged with the, like, Xbox thing on PC that it just rebinds your controller things and like in the settings it still says everything is fine so you know the obvious solution would be okay like if there's something that's responding to A but it says it's bound to like left bumper or something well then just make it you know just do the opposite and then it would work no it nothing changes it's it, like you're just screwed so yeah i honestly don't even want to play the axis series despite how much i love it on the channel because i don't want to learn the new input it's like that offensive to me 
And I know there's people who play with it, and I've been meaning to look up like keybinds for it to give it a possible chance. There we go. Mouse and up arrow. And I think you're... <sighs> you know, I kind of don't even want to go back for that, so I'm not going to. Dislike. Sorry. <laughs> oh, God. But... What was I even talking about? Oh, yeah. Control methods. Freaking... Oh, we're on the topic of that. Let's talk about something very fun. Controller drift. Which, for any PC people who've never heard of or had to deal with it, is when one of your sticks is always moving in a direction. Like, regardless whether you're actually moving it in a direction or not. And it's very, as you can probably guess, annoying. It's like, if you're always... Ugh, it's just horrible. I had a controller once that had both of the bumpers taped on, like they were falling off, and both sticks were drifting as well, and they were making my mic constantly scream static at everyone else in the party. That controller, oh boy, I mean, apparently I had it last longer than other people, because I had it last for like four years, and all my friends are like, oh yeah, I get a new controller like every day, and I was like, Jesus, guys. I don't even know how you manage to break a controller, like, without physically throwing it. Like, how are they more taxing on it than me? Because I know I play more than they uh, than they do. It's like every time they get on the frickin' Xbox, they're like, Oh, will you be on at X time tomorrow? And I'm like, Dog, do you know who you're talking to? I am always on. Yes, I will be on at that time tomorrow because I'm not doing anything else. And if I'm not on tomorrow, you can frickin' Discord text me, and lo and behold, I will become on. <laughs> I am always accessible, like, I, I, what do you think I'm doing? Like, give me a genuine answer, do I, what do, what do I talk about, huh? Take a guess, I talk about video games when I'm in parties with them. It's like, what do I talk about? I talk about anime, video games, memes, like, dog, you think I'm not the type of person who will see someone on Discord and be like, hey, yo, you wanna play Blank? And I'll be like, yeah, of course I wanna play Blank, man. And I'm just sitting here looking at memes on Reddit, like, I'm not not sure why you are not treating yourself as the savior which you clearly are by wanting to god recently freaking everyone's been <laughs> I could say everyone's been lifing and even people who aren't now play games i am not fans of and it's like even when they were still playing everyone was moving on to rocket league which i mean i don't have anything personally against rocket league but like if they're, I mean, it's just not for me. It's just one of those situations, you know? Do I think it's terrible? No. But, like, would I play it ever by choice? No. <laughs> Double no. Like, it's just not, it's just not something I would do. It's not my thing. I mean, like, I, I kind of enjoy playing custom still, because now that I'm, like, worse than everyone, it's like a thing, you know, that I'm worse than everyone. But, like, for a while, it just, it just wasn't fun. They were, like, trying to freaking you know, ascend the ranks and become better, which is, yeah, respectable. I'm not gonna, like, get mad at them for that, but you know how it is. And I was just like, oh, cool, man. Guess I'll just go screw myself, you know? Like, what am I supposed to do here? <laughs> like, I can't do anything there. But, yeah, whatever. I mean, now at this point, I'm just playing a bunch of single-player games. Now I'm, you know, recording for YouTube which has not gone anywhere as of the making of this video. Who knows, maybe years from now people will look back as I'm super popular. I think I've already said this uh, in a different video, but maybe it wasn't one that got uploaded. But, um, you know, maybe people will look back on this and be like, oh, so this is what... Yeah, <laughs> something. I honestly don't even remember what I was just talking about. Um, as I was saying that, I almost said, oh, this is why he's doing YouTube, and then I was like, that has nothing to do with what you were just talking about. Um, the reason I started doing YouTube was because we were coming back from a trip to a place, I'm gonna, you know, dox myself, and as we were coming back, we were in an airport, and I don't remember how we got on the topic, but me and some family members, you know, started talking about, like, what are you gonna do, you know, like, you need a thing that you do, and I was like, okay, so I was like, I guess since it's not that freaking hard, I, is there a wall that's gonna kill me?
Okay, whatever. But I was like, yeah, it's not that hard, so I could try being a frickin' YouTuber, you know, just play games and talk. I can do both of those things quite well. And here I am. I mean, I, like I said, I don't have any viewers as of this point, and one of my friends told me something that I'm already very aware of, which is, you know, it's like, now you can't just do what I'm doing. You can't just upload video. You need something that's, like, gonna grab them, right? You need something that's gonna something that's going to make everyone be like, oh, I need to go watch that person, or something that's going to have that first person, whoever happens upon your video, is going to make them want to share it, you know? Something that'll make them, yeah, whatever, you know, or go promote it somewhere else, because, like, only one person has to, y you know how it is. You know, he was like, oh, you should promote on TikTok. And it's like, dog, I don't want to promote this on TikTok, you know? It's like, I don't... I don't honestly think that, like, I'm doing... Make, I don't think it's criminal, the caliber of content that I'm putting out. But, you know, I'm not ignorant. I am aware that this is not, like, hi, stop hitting LDM me. I'm aware that this isn't, like, you know, high effort high like production you know it's like i understand man i'm not gonna promote people to like come here you know be like oh i check out my youtube channel and they're like yeah i will and then they watch it and they're like cool this is not it you know and i guess that's like you know it's like you gotta be some degree of selfish man to get yourself out there you can't say oh but i won't i won't tell anyone about it because they might not like it and it's like dog you can't that's not a mindset to have that's why you haven't freaking written everything because like i've tried writing as well that came up in the discussion of you need something to do and it's like why do i not write because I don't have motivation to write. Why do I not have motivation to write? Because I feel like I don't get anything out of it. And it's like, man, maybe if you, like, just put it on some random website or, like, showed it to people or, like, you know how it is. You know, if you actually did something, who knows? Maybe that inspiration would come. And it's just like, eh, you know? It's like, I'm sure I'll freaking actually write someday. One day. Not today. Someday. It'll happen. Or maybe it won't. Maybe I'll get a boring office job. I don't know, man. I'll do something, that's for sure. Let it be known that Moss has said on this day that he will do something. Something is going to happen. That is for sure. Um, yeah, talking about deep freaking topics on my god why do i sound like i'm about to cry i'm not about to cry okay if anyone's freaking oh my god is this guy gonna no i'm not i'm good i don't know why it's because i got my low monotone voice and i stuttered and i was like <laughs> yeah no trust me i'm fine i'm not gonna cry guys ah uh, but i mean it's like out of everything that i could do it's like if i i did not even see that um out of everything that i could do my ideal type of you know, job would be something like this, because I'm sure everyone's heard it, you know, find a job that you enjoy doing and you'll never have to work a day in your life, which is, I mean, that's true. It's like, I wouldn't even see this as a job. People would be like, do you have a job? And I'd be like, no. And then they'd walk away and be like, wow, that guy's unemployed. And then I'd go, oh, wait, they think I'm unemployed now. Though, I guess I would be, because I'm... It, 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 uh, you know what? I'm not going to get into semantics about this, whatever. Basically, this is something that I would want to do. I think someone who echoes my thoughts pretty closely in almost everything he says in reality is um phase jev he for if you go watch his five million subscriber video he's talking about wow big brain he's talking about why he like did youtube and he said that when i started my youtube channel i was playing video games and i wanted to do that he said people asked me what, do you want to be a game developer? Do you want to... No, no. I didn't want to be a game developer. I wanted to do this. And I wanted to keep doing this. He said, and YouTube was the way that I was going to keep doing it. And that was just... I mean, yeah. That's kind of how I am. It's like, you know, people will mention it. They'll be like, well, why don't you make games? Because that's like the obvious next step. Or like, since I like stories, it's like, why don't you write stories? Well... Here's the thing, I just don't, I just don't, 
I just don't really want to. I do kind of want to write stories, but like for making games, I have no, I'm aware of just how it is, you know? It's like, I don't, I probably wouldn't want to work at like a company or something because, I mean, we all know how that goes. I wouldn't want to get picked up by like a 343, you know, <laughs> Halo Infinite, but, um, which, by the way, I, I'm just aware of the situation of and have played. So before someone's like, oh, you're needlessly hating, you don't know the situation. Yes, I do. I do. I'm fully aware. I'm aware that the game is fun. I'm aware. It just trust me. I know. I know. But, like, then that would leave me on indie games, right? And it's like, what would I do? I don't want to do programming. I've done, like, baby programming and, like, you know, some classes. Oh, Lord, no. And that's the easy stuff. That's, like blocks of code that like say exactly what no i could never code that sucks it sucks i'll say it i think it sucks you know like all right let's think what else could you do audio god no god I had to do some of that for a class as well no thank you audio and visual production i would rather never again in my entire life actually just a thought um and it's like, okay, what about art? I can't. I could learn how to draw, and I am vaguely interested in it, but, like, no, I would not. No, 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 no. Now, the thing that I do have that I am semi-confident in is, I guess, the ability to come up with stuff. Because maybe for, like, the past two years, I've had many things kind of rattling around in the old noggin. Like, lots of stuff, lots of, like outlines for stories and like worlds and stuff right i've never gone into detail like in my head as to how anything works or like who the characters are stuff like that but like i've had lots of outlines that i think are very good and that like i would like to see someday you know and of course they're very derivative i of like whatever is super super interesting me at that point whether it, i mean it can even be music you know a lot of times if i hear a piece of music and it inspires a certain emotion in me then like i'll think of a story or some setup for that and it's like i guess that would be good for you know and people have told me they're like oh then be like a director for stuff and it's like i just thought now it's like being a director for something isn't something that you would that you would want someone like me to do and that's not just being self-deprecating it's because i just i bounce from idea to idea too much you know it's like imagine even if we had like you know if i was a director and like i got a script writer or whatever or you know someone to like filter out what i'm saying <laughs> you know like i'm the idea man and then they execute it and it's like at that point i just don't because I feel like if I was a director, I'd be super finicky, right? Like, the writer would come back with something that could be ten times better than what I wanted, but I'd be like, no, this is not what I will do. Or I wouldn't say that, because I don't think I'm that kind of person, you know? But I'd be like, oh, I don't know, I'm not, you know? And I just, yeah, just flip-flopping between ideas, because the whole point of a director is to direct something, give it direction, hence the term director. And I think I would be terrible at that because I'm just not I mean it's like the whole concept of pretty much all my stories is like traveling between worlds almost which is inherently because I know I can't stick to a topic you know I'm going to wanna and I'm also a huge fan of I guess random stuff if that makes any sense or just I guess things that leave a very strong impression but don't necessarily mean anything you know which i also see as like yeah that's a lot of people don't like that kind of stuff right it's like if i could because my opinion as is many other people's is that you don't you the worst thing that you that could happen to a piece of art or something that someone's created would be that it's forgettable or that it's mediocre you know if something is terrible it's terrible and it's still leaving some kind of mark right you remember it or it could be used as an example of what not to do when someone else tries something similar you know it ha it still has some kind of value i guess inherently because it's invaluable not invaluable um i i, I don't know the term but you know what i mean you know whereas so you know if i could leave just an impact 
it was something like that. But here's the thing, is like, let's take, let's go back to the Yakuza games I was talking about before. They have a thing called dynamic intros, which happen before, like, fights a lot. Here's the general, like, format of a dynamic intro. I'll give you an example. Two guys run at each other, yell each other's names, and then they shoulder tackle each other. The game then freeze frames and puts the name of the enemy right there as the music plays in the background. You know, that's what a dynamic intro is. And exam example of what I was talking or no, no, no. Um, an example of like it being repetitive is that I thought of one that was two people for whatever reason like doing a high kick and both of their legs like connecting mid-air you know like clashing or whatever and it's like cool i thought of that and is this from i thought this one was from the game of mori anyways but it's like you know i thought of that and i was like oh great and then i was playing one of the yakuza games and that was already a thing which is another thing that i'm I guess scared of for like anything that I would make is like does this even you know because that would be I guess the biggest failure to me would be if I wrote something and just nobody cared you know because <laughs> that's also I mean that's like my least favorite thing for anyone to say ever if someone says I don't care that immediately is just like ugh, I hate it I just hate it it's like you can phrase it any other kind of way, and I will. It will be more palatable to me. But that is just, ugh, I don't like it. I'm gonna end this recording after I do this. Why is that gravity portal weird? But um, yeah, I guess since I'm all good and done with recording for now. I'm satisfied with the way this video came out. I got to finally, I guess, talk how I wanted to for a lot of these, and yeah, I'll just let this play. That's a wrap. Goodbye. Gotta actually wait for this to finish saving and then. Yep. And Dan, 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 Dan. Going to hit stop recording. Goodbye.